Oh, you are ready to color! Back with a vengeance! I want to show you how to blend while you're drawing, especially with something like marker, which seems like a hard medium to use uh, to try to blend. But you can do it, and it looks pretty cool. So let's up your marker game. Most of you have markers. You can also do this with crayons and colored pencils. So the first thing I want you to understand is the color wheel. When you're blending, you can experiment on another piece of paper, but um, what you want to do normally is you want to pick colors, pick two or three colors that are analogous. Art word, analogous. Analogous means Anybody remember? That's right. It means colors that are next to each other. You'll see that word in math too, analogous. So, and I'm going to pick three colors that basically are analogous, but they flow. They can flow one into another. It really doesn't matter how you go. I could do orange, yellow, green because orange is analogous to yellow is analogous to green as long as I keep it in that order orange and green are not analogous so that would create a different it would create a less harmonious uh, transition you can still do it we can experiment it will just create a stripe of a different um, darker color which might be the technique you want so you could you should experiment so I'm going I want to color all the shapes in my insect and I'm going to do this shape right here and I want it to be I'm going to make mine symmetrical and I am going to sort of draw these lines that go up so that the edge is kind of feathered a little and I'm going to blend it darker and lighter but you can see the edge is kind of feathered sort of looks like flames and then the next color what's analogous to orange I'm I'm choosing yellow so I'm going to go up 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 this is not um I didn't fan it so much because yellow is a lighter color. Let me show you what it looks like. You're not going to get that smooth blend that you can get with oil pastels or paint. So now I'm going to make sure that I get that feathered edge. So that's the transition in terms of the shapes or anything, or lines or anything, but it is in terms of the colors. So you can see, um, like here, in this little shape, I just yellow and green. So now I do the same thing on this side. I'll just uh, speed up. <laughs> Ah, so funny. I love hearing that speeded up voice. So anyway, I'm just blending analogous colors and uh, you certainly do not need your colors to be analogous. Um, it just won't be as harmonious. It'll be more contrasty and um, contrast is wonderful too. So I really highly suggest that you experiment um, on another paper. So here I am blending the main part of the body. I want you to color in all the shapes of your creature and it does not need to be an insect. It could be a monster or an imagination animal. Um, I know some of you don't like insects. I do though. The next technique that I want to show you is uh, creating a texture. So the first thing you need to do is to pick two or more colors. I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use um, green, it's a light green, blue, and then I'm going to actually pick a dark green. These are again analogous colors, but um, I suggest you experiment on a scrap paper um, to see what happens if you uh, mix, blend non-analogous colors, but you might like the results, so experiment. So when I'm doing a texture, it's all about, here's the word, repetition. So I'm repeating a line or 
uh, shape over and over. So I'm going to just do a dot from my marker. You can see that I left white space because I'm going to fill it in with my other colors. I'm going to continue to repeat that dot. I want a new color. So I'm going to pick either a different shade of blue or what's yellow makes yellow and blue make green that would be a color that i might like um maybe i'll try yellow just squish in now because yellow is lighter i can worry less about covering the other dots although it does change the color of that dark blue into more of a dark green but i can get a nice full coverage cover all those dots i'm not gonna ask you to color the background but your symmetrical creature should be filled in so now you can see that i created kind of a cool texture just by repetition repeating a dot i hope you enjoyed making or watching me make my symmetrical signature insect make sure you color it all in and i'm looking forward forward to seeing what you guys create see you online